So we're on our way to visit the palace, Gyeongbokgung Palace. There is a exchanging of guards today at 10 a.m. We are 10 minutes away, <laughs> just about. It's a very famous place. Lots of tourists are going there. We're blindly following some people, but we're very sure we're, they're all going towards the palace grounds. Look how the magnificent this is. It's beautiful. There's a big dam over there. People are dressed in like the traditional um, Korean costumes. It looks really flowy. It looks like a linga, <laughs> a very bouncy linga. But this place is absolutely amazing. This is the way that the guards will come. So they will come out from that gate and they will exit all the way to the back of us. So we're just standing waiting to watch the exchange happen. Changing of the guard is one of the most anticipated events in the palace. This customary rite has been performed since the 14th century during the Joseon dynasty. This palace is located in one of the most iconic sites in all of Korea. Constructed in 1395 at the beginning of the Joseon dynasty, it is surrounded by Mount Bugaksan and Mount Namsan in the heart of Seoul. The palace consists of 7,700 rooms in some 500 buildings. There is a lot to see. This is the main hall, where the king held meetings, handled state affairs, and held receptions for foreign visitors and dignitaries. So I think it's the hall where people will come and discuss stories, discuss problems, conceptualize wars, the architecture, the art, the colors. Grand celebrations, such as coronation ceremonies of kings, were also held here. The open corridors surrounding this building are filled with rooms for different purposes. There is a king's chamber here. It was here that he rested after a long day's work. And there are queen quarters here. It is the most restricted areas in the palace. To enter this area, even the queen's own father and brothers require special permission. The queen ruled over all females in the palace, including concubines and court ladies.
And there's another beautiful pavilion here, served as the dynasty's banquet hall. It was also built to entertain the king and officials, as well as to receive foreign envoys. Really enormous palace. We haven't explored it fully, but we're leaving right now to go to our next destination. It is absolutely glamorous and wonderful, definitely to do. But you got to spend a couple of hours here and lots of walking. It's a big palace. What a guy. They are doing a mini change around. It was such a wonderful experience at the palace and we got a bite to eat at a place called Isaac's Toast. Highly recommend it, it was really yummy. We sat by the, um, I would say water, there's a lot of water play in the city. So we sat by there, ate our food. Now we're off to activate our soul passes so that we can go on the hop in hop off bus to get to the soul tower. First you get a free apron. Uh, we're off to Seoul Tower. They give you little headphones so that you can listen to some commentary of where you're stopping and what we're uh, getting around to. Seoul Tower is a breathtaking landmark with gorgeous city views and scenic sights. There are a number of different trails and roads and you can walk up to the tower as well. It was originally built as a communication and radio tower in 1969, but now it is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Seoul. The tower itself is obviously the main attraction. There are several other attractions around the base that add to the overall experience. You can be amazed by the OLED panel screens scattered around the Seoul Tower. And you can also step into this beautiful pathway and be surrounded by splendid illuminations. Undoubtedly, the main highlight of visiting Seoul Tower is a chance to experience the view from the world-renowned observation deck. We've been telling Ol that he's actually going to climb the, the little needle bit on the top all the way until now and we're going to the we're just here. <laughs> we got you, Baba! High five! We don't have anything. Regularly coated as being one of the most impressive views in Seoul, the observation deck provides a panoramic 
360-degree view of the remarkable Seoul skyline. Then they have the love blocks, and you simply won't miss them. Absolutely everywhere you go, and around the Seoul Tower, you will see row after row, mass after mass of padlocks. These love blocks are placed on the railings around the tower to symbolize the unbreakable love between people. Okay. 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 Go Ready? For it. Ready. Yeah. Steady. Sealed and delivered. We've got our hearts locked at the base of the solar tower. <laughs> there are also glamorous digital art structures that are all around the building. Moving to the second floor, there are more displays of vibrant patterns that continuously change over time. Just beside it, you'll catch this remarkable 3D technological creation to enjoy various presentations from different angles. 